Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Bukenzie here, and this is Bukenzie's Corner. This video was inspired by a comment I got on my previous video. So I just thought of not sharing this video. I told the person that I'm going to make a whole video on it. So here is the video. I feel most mom would like to see what I'm about to talk about. So disclaimer, I am not a medical doctor, neither am I a nurse. I am just a microbiology graduate that loves to inquire about anything health. I love anything health. I love to make research on anything health. What I'm about saying in this video, everything I will be saying in this video uh, according to my own personal research. I researched this online. I researched this via my doctor friends, a medical practitioner that I know. Yeah, in this video, I will be sharing with you the African mentality way of hearing cold cough and kata in infants, and of course, the right way to go about it, thereby yeah, keeping your baby safe and sound. You will agree with me that most cough, cold, and kata in infants and newborn are usually caused by viral infection. And this cold and cough and kata goes on its own with or without medication make sure your baby is warm make sure you keep your baby warm and not hot there is a difference between keeping your baby warm and hot though you should avoid overdressing your baby to avoid your baby getting rashes all over his body so you should know the difference between keeping your baby warm and keeping your baby hot so there are two different things so i like to also chip in that i will be sharing a very important tips towards the end of this video about blocked nose trips in infants and newborn so you should endeavor to watch this video till the end without skipping any part of this video please and please for your sake watch this video till the end and of course don't forget to subscribe turn off the post notification bell so as you get notified each time i upload any videos so to the African ways of getting your baby off cold and kata is one, our mothers, they use what we call escalators or silver bed oil. I'm going to be linking the picture up here. They usually put it on the scalp of babies. Their intention is having the baby perceive the escalator, escalator's oil from his head and that will allow the baby breathe or sneeze or um, free the baby from a cold and kata that is their own belief whereas otherwise it is a wrong approach like doctors frown at this step and of course some mothers as well drop few escalators oil in baby's oil they like they try mixing them together so as to drop it on baby's head it is totally wrong doctors because i spoke to a doctor friend of mine doctors advises that it is a wrong approach personally i usually use cotton ball to clean my baby's nostrils once you check your baby's nostrils you see particles of maybe mucus or dried one you try and use cotton ball to clean it carefully without stressing the baby out that is my personal way of cleaning the nose trees and i try as much as possible to keep my baby very warm and not hot another thing our mother usually do is rubbing the feet and um, palm of the baby with metolitol metolitol i'm going to be linking the picture here you should be aware of what metolitol is our mothers usually rub the palm of uh, babies with it and the feet. I do that as well each time I pack my baby before wearing his socks or before wearing his overall that has socks like thing in it. I Please, guys, pardon me with the brightness of this video. I am back to filming with natural light. PSN took the light when I was filming earlier, so I couldn't wait because this topic here is sitting my body. I know a lot of people out there would like to listen to this video one way or the other so as i was saying i was listing some of the african ways our mothers go about preventing our baby and also caring or easing them of cold and kata so the last one i'll be mentioning is african mothers using mouth to suck out uh, the baby's mucor the mucor coming out from the baby's uh, nose it is totally wrong like it is it is very wrong and detrimental waiting to the baby's uh, what's it called health being and of course your own health being as well because kata is caused by viruses and you are literally sucking out the viruses from the baby's nose 
to your mouth you should understand what i'm trying to emphasize so you guys the most important thing is keeping the baby warm and not hot i i'm trying to hammer this in this video because there is a different there is a huge difference in keeping your baby hot and warm i need you all to dress your baby according to weather as you can see here in nigeria now africa it is so hot right now like let me use my baby as an example see what he is putting on he's putting on a harmless um what's it called dungress and of course no meeting on his hands and no um no socks so you should understand i'm not even putting on cap either i want him to breathe like allow your baby breathe it is not that deep allow them breathe like you cannot go about because your baby is a baby and you dress overall all up and down with cap when you are indoor like you are the one with your baby at home you couldn't you shouldn't go about dressing your baby all like you are in the cold weather no it is hot now in nigeria so you should understand when i say you should dress your baby according to the weather so also if the weather is cold you cannot endeavor to wear sleeveless outfits for your babies and you cannot avoid to wear socks and of course mitten if your baby is still tender so you should understand where i'm coming from when i say dress according to the weather please and please so i'll be going right now into the proper and medically the hygienic way of preventing cold and cata and also suppressing it if at all your baby has it already so first thing first i will advise exclusive breastfeeding i know it is not easy on mothers out there but exclusive breastfeeding as add from professionals pediatricians exclusive breastfeeding helps cure cold cutter and cough in infants and babies please note that another thing is the use of silver bed escalators or if i'm pronouncing it the proper way the right way of using it it is usually used in inhaled stimulation whereby you put hot water in a bowl a drop of silver bed oil and of course wrap yourself and your baby with um, the steam let it steam with the baby let the baby perceive the smell let the baby inhale the smell from the hot water however it doesn't kill the kata it only helps the baby to ease the, the breathing process it only helps the baby to suppress the pressure of the mucus that is blocking the baby's nose i hope you understand because this process cannot be repeatedly done it cannot be done every now and then because it is not advisable medically and another thing is keeping your baby away from adults and babies with cold cough and cutter that's another great way to go about preventing your baby from having cold cough and cutter because if you expose your baby to cold to someone who has cold cough and cata, your baby will definitely take it. Avoid your baby's exposure to film smokes of the house, e.g., smokes from cigarettes, films from cooking, and also generator films. So you should total avoid your baby from inhaling all of those. And of course, smell from insecticide spray. Another thing is frequent hand washing with soap and water or with hand sanitizer should in case anyone wants to carry your baby and another thing is if, if at all your baby is attending crashes or daycares please avoid as much as possible daycares and crashes that are overcrowded or better still daycares and crashes that knows about disease control hygiene that takes that into consideration please try as much as possible to avoid all of these things i listed and of course Keep your body, keep your baby warm to avoid your baby having a stuffy nose. So to the tip I promise at the end of this video, the tips for blocked nose. If your baby's nose is blocked, this has what to do about it. Get normal saline nasal drop or normal saline drip because both are the same thing. Normal saline nasal drop is also the same thing as the normal saline water in drips. You should endeavor to get either of this or this. And what you do about them is you get a drop. Normal saline acid drop is already affected for the for the use. You just drop a drop of it into your baby's nostrils, like one drop each of the baby's nostrils. 
and if you were not able to get the normal saline nasal drop and therefore to get the normal saline infusion you withdraw you get what's it called syringe you withdraw um, like two meals from it and drop a drop each on each of the nostrils of the baby however this is not a drug it is used to soften the mucus in the blocked nose of the baby allowing it to freely flow out by itself and please sir please don't use this solution for more than a week please try as much as possible to dispose it after a week and avoid being used to play by other babies please and please and after the blocked nose is freely moving please stop the process please stop the usage so you guys i have come to the end of this video this is me sharing with you all i know about cold cough and kata all i know about the prevention and of course the cure to some extent so you guys share with me in the comment section what are your thoughts about what i said however if your baby is literally coughing all through the night or having difficulty in breathing please take the babies to the hospital don't say we can just say you can do this without going to the hospital i am not saying you shouldn't go to the hospital but these are the preventive measures to put in place i didn't say you should not go to the hospital please don't misinterpret all i've said in this video this is me sharing my own research what works for me personally so please and please take it into consideration if a child with cough and kata is having difficulty in breathing i repeat if a baby or an infant or a child is having cold and kata with difficulty in breathing please quickly take the child to the hospital i beg don't come and say can you say please so so share with me in the comment section if you enjoyed this video thank you so much i feel fulfilled sharing all of these details as well so share with me in the comment section anything you would like me to talk about as well anything you like to hear from me as regard any topic of your choice so share with me just share with me in the comment section i would like to film a video about it as well i love my subscribers suggesting uh, videos ideas to me I thank you so much for watching this video to this stage don't forget to like share this video amongst every mother's Bye guys. Baby Sule is saying bye guys. Sule. Say bye guys. <laughs> bye guys. I'll see you again.